Every train has a choice To listen to that voice inside Hey guys, Zelda Cleric, welcome to PBR Battle 23. Uh, this is a Wi Fi battle, so I guess I am doing Wi Fi battles more often because nobody seems to be responding to any challenges. So, um, so I'm going with my Trick Room team here, and I'm going to start normally with uh, Shuckle and Bronzong. And from some experiences I've had lately, I kind of need the second trick rumor because of how I start on this team. It may be why I need to switch the team up, because trick rooms are supposed to kill within five turns. Eh, oh well. So we go to uh, Sunny Park, the sunniest place in Poketopia. I don't know, but it's sunny. <laughs> Once peaceful air is now so, Shuckle is, well, Shuckle, and <clears throat> I totally think that we, I'm like, Wigglytuff is, I think Wigglytuff has, uh, what's it called, uh, Magic Guard where it can't be hit by an eat, it doesn't get damaged by extraneous effects outside of battle, it doesn't, I don't know, I, I confused it with, uh, a fable. He's the only one with that ability. And now, so, but I leave him out begins. there because he's a good wall. The makes the first so I see, uh, so I just decide to go for Encore and I do the whole trick room thing. Fell asleep. But he's just Sing and Sing actually hits. And I Encore Poison Fang which helps out tremendously. Because now this thing is totally useless. Because now it can't even target. It either does no damage because of this, my bronze launch of steel type, or I, or it just hits Shuckle, who just takes it like a boss, who doesn't even just shakes it off and says, "I'm sorry, what happened?" So now I'm just trying to break these sleep hacks, and I hate sleep. Ugh, I don't want to deal with sleep, ever. I'm happy that this guy followed the sleep cause, thank God. But then he actually swaggers him, which means when he wakes up he'll be confused, which is an interesting choice. But, I mean, whatever. So I set up stealth rocks and just... Say okay, nothing coming in is going to be full, and any focus sash is now useless. Not that I can really deal more than a focus sash with the current people out right now, but I could later. And now, because I still think Wigglytuff is has Magic Guard, it doesn't. Uh, I believe it has Cute Charm actually. Uh, I'm not completely sure about that, but uh, I'll check it up later and put in annotations. Uh, I'm just trying to break sleep hacks and waste time. So, I end up resting, I think, or something, and... I don't know what I end up doing with Shuffle. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> he actually goes for Hyper Voice. Oh, I go for Encore. I know that because I know what happens in the battle. I go for Encore on his Hyper Voice now. So that's actually expecting Sing or something, because I didn't expect this guy to follow Sleep Claws. And I actually break through confusion hacks. What the heck? I got lucky again for once. So now Trick Room's up. And by the way, that's the last of the luck you'll see with Bronze on. <laughs> uh, now that that's up, well, all I've got to do is kind of just start dealing some damage. At this point, he, none of them can deal any really good damage to me. This damage would have been, this game would have been so fast if I had realized that it wasn't a steel type. Or it wasn't a magic guard. Wow, I fell. Yeah, this is a long battle, I'm sorry. It's just, so I might start boring you, I might start talking about random stuff like I am right now. Uh, Psychic Crobat, because I want to, that's Shuckle what I feel is the worst move. thing. And I just rest up saying, haha, I just, 
don't really care about damage anymore. Oh, no. But he it hits himself. himself. And then he hyper voices, dealing even more damage, which is minuscule, but it starts adding up because he hits himself way too much. I don't know how he's a bell. What does he do? Make psychic energy to hit himself? I don't know. Um. So, yeah, I use rest because I know he's not going to wake up. Rest is a three turn no matter what. And then if you switch him out, I think when he send them out, it resets the clock. I don't know. I know it changes in black and white either to that or from that. I believe it's to that. Or from... I don't even remember. I'll have to look it up. So, Bronzong's confused. So, literally, the trick room's up and I'm not doing anything during the trick room. But I know I have them on court. But look at this. Bronzong has dealt so much damage to himself he isn't... he's in the orange now. That's ridiculous to me. So, he's still asleep. Well, I put him to sleep, so that's this kind of sleep hacks. It doesn't matter, but it isn't sleep hacks. It's just, I put him there. Now, I hope confusion hacks goes away, because it's kind of getting ridiculous, so gyro ball on... Well, it's either Psychic or Gyro Ball. Because I know I don't end up going for Rock Slide. Watch me go for Rock Slide, because knowing what I do... Yep, I end up going for Rock Slide. Wow. Don't I know myself so well? Oh, yeah. This is where the pain or the funny part starts. So they send out this, uh... Waba Fett, the blue pole with lipstick. So it's female. He hits himself again. Which is kind of getting ridiculous at this point. And this Wobbuffet, it's an Uber. It's one of the weirdest Ubers to face because it doesn't battle normally. It kind of, it doesn't have any actual attacking moves. So, what am I going to do? Well, this is the end of the rest. How about I Toxic it and make this a 1v2 match? Yes, I am literally turning Wobbuffet into a death stick. Er, that is a horrible thing to say. It is now just gonna die from poison throughout the rest of the battle. I guarantee you, I will not target that thing, because I know better. So, he wakes up, because I know he would, and toxics him, which means he dies in, uh, how many turns... It's snapped out of its 1 confusion. plus 2 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus 4 is 10, plus 5 is 15. He dies in 6 hits. turns, pretty much. It's assuming he doesn't have leftovers. And he does have leftovers, actually, so... And finally, that Bronzong? Yeah, he broke through this, the hacks and actually did two, a third damage to the Wigglytuff, which is pretty good. But now I can switch to an actual sweeper. And even if the trick room does go out, which, yes, it does, he can't do anything. I mean, he doesn't have taunt. I actually almost go into Snorlax. I'm like, wait, this is a free trick room. What am I doing? So I just switch up and just say, Hi, Slow King, set up trick room. Because I know Hyper Voice isn't going to do much to me, especially with nothing set up. And I just kind of, I think I end up encoring Miracle, co Mir Magic Coat, so that it, I know what it's going to do, so I can actually, if I wanted to, hit it with a physical attack and not worry. It ends up not mattering, but who really cares? It's a smart thing to do in that case. So Hyper Voice does the same thing to Shuckle, and, eh, I don't even know if it really mattered on Slow King. It just took it like a beast. Yeah, once again, yeah. Wobbuffet, you're a failure to life. Just died of poison. <laughs> yeah, he just healed back. So now he's at uh, four, 14 sixteenths of his health. I know that because I know how toxic works. You can look it up. It does 1 16th and 2 16th and 3 16th. That was the math I was doing earlier. 
<laughs> so, now that I actually have something that can hurt Wigglytuff, I'm just going for it. Uh, Psychic on the Wigglytuff, Shuckle does kind of just wastes its time sitting there doing nothing. Because I really kind of don't have a use for it, but it's a good wall and it has Toxic, so if I need to put something under a Toxic, I can. So that puts Wigglytuff under... into the red. Thank god. Because that thing is probably annoying. I mean, it's still under Encore, so it's not gonna sing. I'm happy it's not gonna sing, because that would be bad. Because Sleep Hacks happens to be my least favorite hacks of all the hacks, because Frozen, who cares? I wake up, I un unfreeze usually right away. I don't know, maybe it's just my luck. So, you know what, I'm like, okay, you know what, whatever, I'll Toxic the Weekly Tough now that it's about to die. Because I just fail at remembering who is who. I confuse the two, which are two opposites. Quafable and Wigglytuff are defensive, while well, one's defensive, one's specially defensive. So it's kind of weird. It's an understandable confusion. But now I know not to make that mistake again. And go ahead and throw in the comments how stupid I was. I don't care. So I just go for Water Pulse, just for variation of the sake, because... Eh, what's the fun of using Psychic over and over again? I mean, I've played it where someone just thunders me over and over again. That's not that fun. Let's do something fun. Well, not necessarily fun, but different. So now this thing just took... I don't know. Well, that I think is four sixteenths of its health. So it's a quarter of its health. And now he sends out Breloom. Well, it's a Trick Room, and I have a Psychic type, so that thing isn't going to live very long at all, unless it uses Protect, and then it has one turn. whoop de doo And I'm not going to use Toxic on that, because it probably has Toxic Heal. And I'm surprised it didn't go for Protect, because... or Substitute? Well, I don't even know what it went for, but I thought it might go for Protect, because... In this case, Substitute isn't that useful. But usually it's Substitute, not Protect, because of the Toxic or peels it back. Sorry, it's like midnight when I'm recording this, so I'm a little tired for the moment. Psychic destroys that Breloom in like no tomorrow, and he's just gone in one shot. I don't think self thoughts even matter, unless, I mean, yeah, I broke a Sash if it had a Sash, and I'm pretty darn sure it didn't. Now I do 5 sixteenths of his health. Which is a lot, and I know it's probably dead next turn. Knowing my luck, it's not. Now, if you do the math, you could probably figure out when it, how many turns it should take to die. Because it's well, gaining 1 16th a turn, a and losing 1 16th, and 2 16th, and 3 16th, and 4 16th. And it lost 1 8th due to Stealth Rock. So, do the math. You could figure it out, actually. I just don't really want to. So, I see Crobat. Crobat's just an easy kill. I have a Psychic type. Slow King is Slow King for a reason. I don't know why I go for Ice Beam. I think it's because I just want to have a little fun, use something different. So I just Ice Beam the Crobat away. I should have gone for Psychic anyway, but Ice Beam works just fine with me. I mean, it's an Ice Beam of Ice, you know? If you can do it, why wouldn't you? So, then he tries Mirror Code again, because I forced him to. Now, this is where he starts deciding. Do I want it to die from poison, or do I want to set up Trick Room and just let it poison itself to death? And I don't recall what I end up choosing. What do I end up choosing? Do I end up killing it, or do I say I want to kill it by own hands, or do I just want it to die? Nope, I go for Trick Room. <laughs> uh, I just, I decide to, uh, let it die to its own Toxic for the Shuttle sake of Toxic. So, that whole turn just ends up being wasted, and that Lava Set did absolutely nothing for him the whole battle. It's kind of funny. So, yeah, Leftovers goes up, and now he's taking 6 sixteenths, which is 3 eighths of its health now. 
So, goodbye. Good riddance. Yes, that is the kill, best kill of Wobbuffet I've ever had. So, comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see you next time for uh, Wi-Fi Battle 24 or another DS battle. Uh, see you guys another time. Uh, I uh, Put in comments if you want to battle me. Uh, see ya.